In this video, we're going to be looking at some tutorials and tricks for Microsoft Outlook. We're going to be covering four main sections of Outlook. The first being Inbox and Composing, the second being Organization, the third being the Calendar, and the fourth being Contact Management. So I've already brought up my Inbox view. Uh, as you can see, there are three main panes for Windows Outlook. The left being your folder view, your folders. The middle being your actual emails where you see from who, from the subject, and the, the date received, and the right being the preview menu, so the preview pane. Uh, so you can see the way to view an email is you just click on the email and it will show up in your preview pane uh, to see a wider view or fuller view of your email for marketing emails or for emails with images or something wider. You just double click on the email and it will open up a new window so you can see the full view of the email. Uh, and here you can see you can easily reply to an email or forward to an email. Um, and, that's, and that brings up the same window that you would to compose an email. So let me show you how to compose an email. In the top left there is a button called New Email and the shortcut for it is Control N. And once you bring this up you can see that there are three main fields to fill out. Two is to your main recipient. CC is to a second recipient, it stands for carbon copy, you can send, more, send one email to more than one person and if you want to send an email to a private person so they can't see each other being sent this email you can click on the button and it will bring up a window and you can fill in the BCC field and that will br uh, bring in bl a blind carbon copy so they can't see each other. Subject is the subject of your email, and this is the content of your email. So I'm going to fill up this. I'm going to send it to myself and carbon copy myself, and the subject is myself, and the content will be myself. <coughs> okay. So you can also add an, a file to an email. Um, usually that usually consists of documents, images, or PDFs. You can hit the attach file button and it will bring up an explorer window where you can select your file. I'm going to attach attachment.doc. Or you can open up an explorer window and just drag and drop into the into the new window and it'll send you uh, a new a new it'll send the the file that you've attached. You can also attach an item, which means a contact card or a calendar. Uh, into the email from your Outlook, so I'm going to attach my calendar, and that's it. Once you once you've completed your email, you can also format it. Uh, this this formatting is very similar to Microsoft Office or Microsoft Word, sorry. So you can change the font size, you can change the color, you can change the font type, and an indent tables. If you're familiar with Microsoft Word, you're going to be able to format your emails easily. And once you're ready, you just hit send, and off it goes. All right, so we're going to move on to the organization part of this video. Uh, this applies to the inbox again. So here I have, I brought up my inbox. Um, organization is very useful for automating the sorting of your email, or to very quickly pick out emails that you want to see uh, as more important. Um, so I just received an email from myself with two attachments and I want to create a rule where I want to move any email from, that I send to myself into a speci specific folder. And for me to do this I right click the email in question that I think applies to this rule and I go to rules and create a rule and this brings up a new window. Uh, you want to click on the advanced options just to bring up the full breadth of options you can get out of creating a rule. And in my case, I just want any email that comes from myself uh, as the, the condition. You can pick from several conditions. Um, for myself, I only need this one. And the next, I want to hit next. Uh, this is what I want to do with those emails that are under that condition. For my case, I want to move it to a specified folder. And to specify that specified folder, I need to click on this underlined blue text here. And I'll bring up a new window. And I want to move all any email that's from myself into this folder. I hit next and this is asking us if you are if you have any exceptions to the rule. In my case there are no exceptions to my rule so I'm going to hit next and this final step is to ask if I want to run this new rule now on my inbox. And if I want to turn on this rule I want I want to say yes to both and I'll hit finish 
and as you can see the two emails that were in the inbox are now in this folder and that's how you set up a rule uh, I'm gonna do categorize categorizing emails now and to do this you just highlight the email you want to categorize and you just go to the categorize button here and click and you can select colors for each category of email that you want to uh, categorize so it's a very quick um, easy way to label your emails and you can sort by category for example so you can see here's a whole bunch of emails that are sent to myself that um, don't have any category and here is an orange category and here's a red category and now I just want to sh quickly show you how to move uh, emails manually between folders and not just to click and drag and drop so I'm going to drag this back into my inbox and you can see it goes in my inbox and there it is and that's it for uh, organizing an inbox so moving on to the calendar section of Outlook uh, as you can see here this is the main calendar view in the top left you can see this is the main the daily uh, view for that month and you can cycle through the months like this um, you can also add more than one calendar so if you have a personal calendar and a work calendar or you have multiple roles and you want to separate the roles into different calendars that's up to you you can do whatever you want or you can share your calendar or get a shared calendar from somebody else and collaborate um, for this for the scope of this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to create a new calendar event and how to invite people to your calendar and so you know you can organize meetings and such so to create a new calendar appointment you just go to the top left hit new appointment or you can hit control N as a shortcut uh, you get to create a subject and location so I'm going to say this is this uh, calendar appointment is about a meeting with myself in my in my office and you can set the time here I'm gonna set it for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Uh, you can do whatever time you want um, and you just type in some details of the calendar appointment so in this case I'm going to I'm going to meet with myself to discuss the video tutorial now you can also invite other people to attend this calendar event so you just hit this button here invite attendees and you send an email to the people you want to send this to send the invite to um, you can also send to multiple people just by doing a semicolon adding a second person and um, you just send it so once you send it or and once you create your appointment you can see here that it's created for tomorrow at 8 a.m. if you want to further edit it you just double click the calendar uh, appointment and you can edit as you can see here there's no responses have been received for this meeting that means the email that you sent to, this, to those people they haven't responded as uh, attending or not attending yet and it'll update once they do and that's it for a uh, calendar view and lastly here we are at the contact management view um, I forgot to mention this earlier but to navigate between the various views the inbox the calendar and the contacts you go to the bottom left of the Outlook window and you click through the tabs um, so this is the contact view uh, it consists of the left side menu where it has your contacts and your suggested contacts um, this is the main contact card view where you can see the contact cards of the contacts that you have and here you can search for the contacts that you want to search for so example if I want to search for Koala it'll show up all the people that have the name Koala um, okay so to add a new contact you go to the top left and hit control and the shortcut for it is control plus n and you just basically fill the details that you have on this contact right so I'll fill out details for myself and you want to make sure you probably want to add the email address as at least by default and to save it you just hit save and close and there's my new contact card um, you can also create groups uh, in, in, in your contact so let's say you have a group of people that you want to send all at once or invite all at once then groups are a really handy way to keep them keep it really fast uh, to invite all of them to something or email all of them and to do this you hit new contact group and I'm going to call this group um, me myself 
and I. And I'm going to add members to this group. And I'm going to add myself. And I'm add, you go here and you click on the people that you want to add. Or you can just type it in or search or you can go through contacts or whatever else. And also uh, various other ways to add through your address book or your email contact. But I'm going to go through Outlook contacts. And once you're done adding the contacts that you want to add, you hit save and close and there's your group. And that's basically all you need to do for contact management here. Um, this covers the very basic um, parts of Outlook for basic usage. There's a lot more in-depth stuff you can, you can learn, but this video covers the basic operation of Inbox uh, Outlook. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment or ask us, and we will happily answer. Thanks. Bye.